will helium-filled aircrafts be a more sustainable choice for air transport? This is the Airlander, a hybrid aircraft filled with helium. The creator Hybrid Air Vehicles HAV, says while it's slower than conventional flying, it emits up to 90% less carbon than airplanes. What we see and what we hear is there's this huge appetite for lower emissions, lower carbon technologies, for different ways of doing uh, jobs and for expanding access to parts of the world that are currently really underserved by transport networks. The Airlander is attracting attention among aviation, freight and defence companies as they seek to decarbonise air transport. HAV is now partnering with Britain's biggest defence company, BAE Systems, to explore its use in transporting equipment and surveillance, with hopes to bring it into commercial production in 2026. Tom Grundy is HAV's CEO. Of course, on a normal aeroplane, the wing generates all of the lift, so you've got to be pushing it forward with motors. With Airlander, the rest of the lift comes from buoyancy. It comes from filling that lifting wing with helium. That gives the aeroplane a head start against gravity, and that's what makes it so efficient. HAV says the aircraft can stay airborne for up to five days, offering potential benefits versus military helicopters. Grundy adds that the Airlander can land anywhere flat, including on water, sand and snow, providing opportunities for defence and luxury travel. When pumped full of helium, Airlander's shell is almost as long as a soccer pitch and the height of six double-decker buses. The cabin below can be fitted out with either several luxury bedrooms or 100 seats. Grundy says there is a perfect type of journey for Airlander. So the sorts of journeys that we're talking about here are journeys where either we're using aircraft to go very fast with high emissions to often cover quite short trips, or the journeys in parts of the world that are really hard to do over land at all, just at the minute. Spanish airline Air Nostrum has already reserved 20 Airlanders ahead of production starting. It could use the aircraft to fly the four-hour journey between Spain and the Balearic Islands. So, how much is it to be a passenger on the Airlander? Grundy expects the cost of a ticket to be competitive versus other modes of transport. But airships have had a problematic past. In the Hindenburg disaster of 1937, a hydrogen airship caught fire, killing 36 people. But Grundy is confident that the technology has improved. We're getting the business, we're getting the economics, we're getting the technology, we're getting the customers. And once you have a system like that that's working, consumers get on board.